After graduating in 1931, John began teaching at Curtis Wright. He later started a flight school to train black pilots. In 1934, he returned to Tuskegee to get students excited about aviation. His efforts led to the formation of the Tuskegee Airmen, the first all-black group of pilots in the U.S. Air Force. There are about 1,000 Tuskegee Airmen trained. There are 96 Distinguished Flying Crosses, 8 Purple Hearts, 66 Tuskegee Airmen died in combat, combat more than 1,500 missions flown, 3 Distinguished Unit Citations, 14 Bronze Stars, and 1 Congressional Gold Medal. In 1948, President Harry S. Truman enacts an executive order to begin desegregation of the U.S. Armed Forces. There is no justifiable reason for discrimination because of ancestry or religion or race or color. In 2008, the Tuskegee Airmen National Historic Site opened in Tuskegee, Alabama. The museum tells the story of the profound and exceptional contribution of these men who signed up to fight for America, bringing the country to victory during World War II, despite racial segregation and a racially charged and deeply divided society.